how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'm going to show you some lesser known hidden features that you're not using on your samsung galaxy smartphone all these are super useful features and you should definitely start using them on your device right now with that being said make sure you watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started First, let me show you an easiest way to put your phone in mute. There are times when you are in a meeting and you quickly want to mute your phone. First, you open the notification panel and then click on the sound toggle for two times. Instead of doing this every time, what I do is I just swipe with my two fingers like this and it mutes all sound including the media volume. If I want to unmute, I simply need to swipe again. The best part is it even works in lock screen so you really don't have to unlock your phone. Now let me show you how to set it up on your device. Just go into your settings, select accessibility and then select advanced settings. Here you will get this option that says accessibility button or gesture. You just need to configure the swipe gesture to mute all sounds. That's it. Now when you want to mute your phone, you just need to swipe with two fingers from the bottom. Right now I'm in my lock screen and if I want to open my phone, I just use my right thumb and it unlocks instantly. Now if I use my left thumb, not only it unlocks my phone, but it also opens my favorite application. I think it's one of the quickest way to open any app directly from the lock screen. To enable this amazing feature on your phone, you will need a good lock module called Routines Plus. So just open good lock and install this module called Routines Plus. Now go inside Routines Plus, select fingerprint to website. What it does is, it lets you to open any favorite website or an app when you unlock your phone using the fingerprint. You can use one thumb to just unlock your phone and register the other finger to open any favorite app of yours. So just select a fingerprint which you would like to use and then tap on this edit icon. You can either set it to open any website or you can even add some other shortcuts like you can open any of your favorite app. Just go to apps and select the app which you would like to access. That's it. Now when you want to launch your favorite app, just use the appropriate fingerprint. Whenever I get a call on my phone, instead of swipe to answer or swipe to reject, I can accept or reject calls with just a single tap. Now to change this particular setting, you will need an application called Activity Launcher which is absolutely free on the Play Store. It's a simple app that shows all the hidden activities and shortcuts that are inside your Samsung phone. Once installed, simply open the app and search for Labs. Just go inside Labs and here you can simply change the call accept or reject action to single tap. That's it. Now if someone calls you, you can simply tap to answer or reject calls. Not only this, there is another option called fake calls that lets you place a fake call on your phone. You just need to put in any number and add a fake incoming call. Anybody looking at this will think that you are getting a call from someone. Like this, you can also place a call from your phone and you will get a fake caller screen with all other options. So if you really want to check out some additional features related to the phone app, then you can definitely install Activity Launcher on your phone. Next, let me show you a very useful feature that is hidden inside your Samsung keyboard. While typing faster, you more often tend to hit and miss the keys and sometimes it gets really annoying. Now to fix this, just go to your keyboard settings, select more typing options and here you get a brand new option called Enhance Accuracy. If it is disabled on your phone, then just go ahead and turn it on. After enabling this feature, your text input while using the keyboard will get more precise and this will definitely enhance the accuracy. So make sure this is enabled on your phone if you are using the default Samsung keyboard. If you really want to improve the battery performance on your Samsung phone, then just go into settings and then scroll down to battery and device care. Here tap on battery, scroll down and select more battery settings. Here you will find a feature called performance profile. If you go inside, you get two options. We have the standard and we also got the light profile. By default, it is set to standard. If you really want your battery to last longer, then I will suggest you to change it to light profile. This will prioritize the battery life and it makes the phone run cool even when you are doing multitasking and you have opened multiple apps on your phone. You do sacrifice a bit of performance, but trust me, it is hardly noticeable. Guys, currently this feature is only available for limited Samsung devices. So if you are unable to find this option in your settings, then I will suggest you to wait for some time and hopefully Samsung will add this very soon. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing features that are hidden inside your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.